Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Vicky Lynn is missing, but I'm here because it's, um, it's a DIY. How, how to fix things around the house. How many of you have had your light pad go out? Almost everybody, I bet, unless you're not using one. Well, this might help you fix yours instead of having to buy another one. It might, it might not, I don't know. But she gave it the old college try, yeah. Let's see if it worked. Then again, why would she post a video if it didn't? Hmm, because she's going off her meds. All right, see you at the end. Stop! Well, hello everybody. It's Saturday, some day in November. Um, 21, 23rd, something like that. Anyway, um, here's Mission Impossible today. So I don't know how many of you have had this issue, but I finally ended up with a short in the cord of my light pad. Now I have the light pad that has the um, regular cord attached rather than the USB port so it lasted a really long time and something I also did to try and avoid it from happening was I had put duct tape around my cord um, coming out of the end of my pad in order to keep it from creating a short to begin with but you know overconfidence I started yanking it around by the cord and eventually created a short in my light pad so I'm a cheap ass bastard, so I always try and fix things first before breaking down and buying something new. Kind of like that hot light that I tried to fix. Now, I managed to fix this one, so I'll probably take another look at that one. But I'm going to show you for those adventurous, do it yourself, handy men and women at home, how I fixed this kind of step-by-step step walk you through it because I'm not completely done but I wanted to make sure I was able to fix it before you know grabbing the video camera because why show you how to not be successful I don't know that's kind of the life of my channel though isn't it okay anyway um so let me grab a tripod and then I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I did to get this thing working and yes it it does work again okay so let me get you set up hold on okay I don't have it put all back together so I didn't want to stick everything down again it's a lot of double-sided tape and hot glue and shit going on in here so I am gonna kind of just walk you through it now my particular pad has this metal frame around it and then I just kind of looked at it trying to figure out how does this cover come off and I was pushing on it and realized that this is like a top piece of plastic and this is just painted on here so I gently pried it loose all the way across okay and in doing that there was some tape here so and I just figured it was broken, wasn't working, so I pulled that off. Okay, so here we go. So this is just basically the top piece of plastic, kind of like, you know, a fluorescent light, ceiling light. Okay, I'm just going to set it aside because it's really sticky. They got double-sided tape all over it. Um, and yeah, I was checking the Joey and Flyer for how much they had light pad, light pads on sale. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to set this aside for when I'm ready to put it back together. Okay. And yeah, I just done my 
just did my nails and now they're all jacked up because I didn't wait till they were dry before I started messing with this because I was waiting for them to dry so I could start doing something else. Whatever. Who cares? And then along, um, let me see. How am I going to do this? Let me just zoom you out a little. There we go. Sorry, you're going to see the tripod. Whatever. There's this double-sided piece of tape that's holding the electric circuitry. So I just very carefully pulled that off. And again, I just set it aside because I'm going to reuse it. All right. Now, my short was in the actual wire where it went into um, the metal frame. If you know anything about electric, well, let's pretend you don't. Um, let me see here. How am I going to do this? I'm going to kind of get this pulled up and zoomed in a little. There we go. All right. I'll zoom you way down, 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 down to here. Okay. With electricity, there's two wires. Okay, you've got, without getting too technical, positive and a negative, red and black or white or whatever. There's going to be two different colors. And then I don't know anything about circuitry boards, but they had soldered each of the wires to this little circuitry board. And again, this part, no clue. This part, yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing. So, and then they had a big blob of hot glue to hold everything together. So I just kind of pried it away. Unplug it first, kids. I didn't because, you know, I could use a little excitement, but unplug it. So I pried it all loose to get at my wire. And as I'm wiggling it, it's, you know, turning on and off. And I can see, okay, there's a short somewhere. Trying to figure out where the short was. Never never really figured it out. But um, in doing all of that, I ended up then breaking the solder up here. For this one, I broke that on accident. But for some reason, it still works without that connected. I don't know why that makes no sense, but so I'm probably going to grab my hot glue gun and glue that back into place because I don't have solder, soldering iron. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why it works without it being connected, but I broke the solder in pulling all this stuff apart. And then, you know, I wiggled and wiggled and nothing was working. So I decided what I was going to do next was what I did, let me actually, I'm going to undo this and show you kind of what I did. Let me unplug it. So what I did was these here are soldered in. Let me flip it over so you can see. And then I had to pull this thing out because it's all, this is the light strip. And so I could flip it over. All right, now, what I did was, and this is, you know, not professional videography, because whatever. These are all soldered in, and I didn't want to try to deal with, like, I broke the solder at the other one of cutting my wires off and trying to solder them or hot glue them in. So what I did instead was I cut, and I'll, I'll show you an example on the white ones. I cut my black and red wires down here, leaving this, this part with the solder intact. So I cut them down low. And let me just undo this and I'll show you exactly how I did this. So I cut them off 
and I strip the casing off. And then on the cord end, I just went back maybe, I don't know, half inch, and I cut it, okay, and stripped the casing off. And when I stripped the casing off, my red wire was like way longer than my black one. So my short was actually within the wire. My black wire had, the copper had split apart, creating the short. So when you wiggle it, you know, inside the wire, they'll touch, touch as you're wiggling. But we want to get rid of that problem and get a good connection again. So again... I had to remember which one was which, and now I just forgot. <laughs> um, shit. I think the uh, the red one was the outside. God, I hope so. Probably doesn't really matter. Anyway. Um, so then what I did was... You know, I cut this off. I stripped some casing off to give me some bare wire. And yeah, see, I jacked up my nail polish big time. And then... I'm really trying to remember now which one was which. I think that was the black one. I could stop the video and look back, but I don't care. Put them next to each other. Here, let me get this out of the way so that's not confusing. Okay, so I've got this on here and my wire. And I'm going to put them next to each other like so and just twist them clockwise around and around and around. Now, because I'm going to use like electrical tape for my splices, being the fact that I'm twisting clockwise probably doesn't matter so much. But if you use wire nuts for regular electrical work, it's clockwise. Otherwise, when you're twisting on your nut, yeah, I said it. Um, you'll end up untwisting your wire. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. Okay, let me check it. Nice and tight twist on that. So now I've got a new connection for my black wire. Okay. And I'm going to fold it backward along the outside this way because I don't want my black and red exposed wires touching each other or. Pssst. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with my red. Okay, I've got my circuit board wire and my red cord wire and I'm just going to twist them together nice tight twist okay and then I want to bend it toward the outside so I don't know if you can see that real well let me see so yeah I've got my exposed wire going out to the right for my black and out to the left for my red so that they're not touching each other, okay? And then, hi. Hey, can you help me bring some color? Yeah, I'm coming. And now I'm gonna um, probably put a piece of tape in between and around, seal them off from each other, insulate, and wrap the whole thing up in electrical tape. And now I have to go help unload groceries. So, back in a flash. Okay, I'm back. Thanksgiving grocery run. Yeah, okay, anyway. Where was I? Uh, I need my glasses. Okay, okay, okay. So, as I was explaining, we want to keep the uh, live wires away from each other. So, I need to go find some electrical tape. So, let me find some of that and we'll tape this thing up and deal with the rest. Okay, apparently we don't have any. So... I'm going to use some heavy-duty duct tape. Duct, duct tape. Oh, let, me, let me zoom you out. There we go. Duct tape. Okay. Yeah, let's see here. Now, I just want a tiny little piece to go in between those two wires. 
Can you see what I'm doing? I'm zooming in a little bit more. Okay. I just want this to go. Let's see here. Right in here. And of course, it's not going to be easy because it's sticky. Okay. And we'll go up to the bottom. Okay, I'm gasping and wheezing because I had to carry three loads of three loads of groceries up the stairs, including a bag of potatoes, frozen turkey, bags of soda. So, come on. This is not going to be easy. All right, hang on. I'll do it this way. And right in here. Need three hands, and there we go. Pull that up through there. There we go. All right, I think we got it. Okay, and we're gonna just separate these two so that they don't have any chance of touching. And this one I can just wrap around those, and then around this. There we go. And I'll do one more for good measure. And there we go. Okay. So now my wires are all secured. I'll zoom it out to put this back together. And extra pieces of wires sitting there. Okay. So push that back through there a little. And then this goes up here. And then yeah, a little more. Move you just a tiny bit. Sorry. Okay. And then this slips right in here. Okay. Back down in there. It's a little more lumpy now because I got all that tape on there. But there we go. Alright. There we go. Clean all my smudges off. Now this one, like I said, up here, that solder came loose when I was yanking on it. So let's see here. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Oh, I can see a little wire sticking out. I don't really want to electrify my frame. Yeah, let's get that wrapped up a little bit better. And we'll even just kind of tape it right to the frame there. There we go. Doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to light up. Okay. Okay. And I still got this thing here that I'm dealing with. I'm actually going to test it out before I tape everything together. See if it's still working. No, why not? I probably did those wires backward. Mm. Probably.
totally layered them backward. wires left anymore. I'm kind of snapping off. Okay, let's see here. So I'll try it the other way. Twist this and this. Alright. Now I'll do it the other way red on the outside. Oh, I should have paid more attention. All right, so connected those back up again. And while I have it all spready I'm gonna put a little piece of tape in there to insulate in between the two. So what I did, you know, I cut it off of the solder, gave myself like an inch, cut a fresh cut on my cord wire rewrapped my wires, twisting the wire on either one clockwise first and then wrapping the two around each other, reconnecting my red and my black, red hot positive and black negative. Now I wanna make sure that inside of my um, light pad that my wires don't touch each other. So I'm going to just fish a little piece of um, tape in between the two. I cut a really thin one. And I'm going to just fish this up through here. And pull it down. go. Okay, now I've got a little little buffer, a little insulation here. So I'm going to just go this way with this and I'll just wrap that this way. And around. And now we'll put another one going around this way to keep them separate from each other. Here we go. It ain't pretty, but hopefully it'll do the trick. Now, let's get this flip back over. Let's see here. Which way does this go? It needs to go this way. Flip that. All right. 
and then this goes this way okay and I've got a little tiny bit of wire showing so I'm just going to do a little more wrapping on that Woo! I'm going to bust this thing up so bad okay let's see here all right let's see I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit more and I'm going to pull my cord back through here. Teeth. Okay. It's like a delicate surgery. All right. Yeah, I wrapped too far with my tape because now I can't get it out the uh, the hole there. There we go. All right, there. And then I've got a little tiny bit of wire showing right there. So let's uh, let me see. Just kind of wrap this around it. Here we go. All right, now. Let's see if it works. Now that I've completely jacked it all up. Okay. All righty, let's see here. Yeah, yay, okay. Off, on, up. And again, this one here isn't touching, but yet it still works. I don't, I don't get it. It's not even connected right there. See? It's not connected, but it's working. So I don't know, but we're gonna stick this back down in here now. And it's all, all this stuff is sticky. It's got like double-sided tape all over everything. So it's, just stick it back down. There we go. And, this, I guess, I don't know. Let me see here. On. Oops, up. I'm just going to kind of get it in the right spot. Oh, it makes it even brighter. See that? Ah. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. All right, that's what that is. Um, kind of like Christmas lights, you know how they'll have three strands? Only some of them are lit. And then when I put this other one on, then the other half lights up so that they're all lit. I don't know if you can see that down at this end. Yeah. Great camera work. Okay, hang on. So it's not connected. Nothing's lit up down here, and then when I connect it, let me see. Come on, get in there. Hold on. Get in there. Come on. There. It gets way bright. Okay, so we definitely want that connected. All right, so I need to get that in there. And if I wanted to, I could grab my hot glue gun. Put a little dollop of daisy on there. Um, but yeah, I don't know that I want to go do all that. I should, I really should, but I don't know. He's going to want me to help with the groceries any second now. So how am I going to get that to stick without grabbing the hot glue gun? I don't know. I might have to do it. I might have to do it. Okay. Let's see here. I'm trying to get that to, in the right spot. Right there. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think tape's going to do it. Yeah, because I'm constantly dealing with that. Well, I got it. And then I don't. Okay, we're gonna have to get the glue gun out. We'll just hold it there and put a little dab of hot glue to secure it. Okay, let me go get that. Hold on. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait for the glue to heat up. Okay. Um, Hopefully this works. In my mind, it's always worth a shot to try and fix it. But electricity can be scary. But it's not scary if it's not plugged in when you're <laughs> working on it. So let's see here. I'm just going to, um, oh, this is a heat pad that Hikiver gave me along with the Aileen's Ultimate Glue Gun. So we're just gonna wait for that to heat up and when it's ready, I'll let you know. Hang on. Okay, looks like it's warm. And I worked on taking off my nail polish. It had glitter in it. So it's, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, we're gonna just try and put a little dollop on there. So let's, uh, Get right up in there. Get you right up in there and see if this works. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to adjust. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm just so not. Let's get right in there. There we go. Okay. Right in there. Okay. Tweezers. So you're right in there. Okay. This is my culprit this one right here we want that to make a connection and stay right there got a little solder spot on it that broke when I was manhandling it okay so we're gonna get it in the spot we need again if I had a soldering gun I'd have to learn how to use it okay and just a little squitch of glue. There we go. Get right all in there. Okay. All right. And let's see. I wish I had a second set of uh, tweezers sitting here. All right. Just kind of. Model it around there. There we go. That looks good. Huh? Looks great. Get it spread out. There. All right. Probably could have used that down with the other thing too, but hey, that works. Okay. And then just get that off of there. Okay. Yeah, thinking I should do that down on the other connection too, but that worked like a charm. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's back you out again. All right. So, yeah, I could have used, used some hot glue down here. I don't really feel like tearing it all apart again. Not while it's working. All right. I think we're good. Okay, let's turn that off. And we'll reassemble. So, let's unplug our glue gun. Okay. Now, they have this piece of double-sided tape. 
this was on here. Okay, I've got three sides. Three sides it's missing from down here, so we'll put it back here. Piece of solder out there. <laughs> okay. And then this has a little recessed um, spot. So this kind of fits down in there like, you know, like a tile, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but it fits down inside the rim. So, just get stuck that down again. Yep. And my light pad is functional again. Yay, I don't have to buy another one. Okay, well. Depending what's wrong with yours, maybe you can fix it too. But I do recommend the ones with the cord versus the USB plug because I had to, one of those didn't last long at all. And I might try and tackle that hot light that I can't get working again. If I get it working, I don't know, I'll show you how. Is it anybody cares? No. Okay. Hey, birthday money. <laughs> You're never too old for birthday money. Now, I've got that lump of tape there, so it's kind of sticking up a little bit. So if I wanted to, and I I, I want to, because I don't want to do that again. I think i got enough tape inside there that I don't have to worry about it. But I'm still going to just secure that down again real nice and tight. Right there. And put one right here. That's going to hold my top piece because, you know, I got that. It's too thick now to want to stay down. Put that around here. And I had that big wad of tape on the inside of here now, so this is probably fine, but still, it doesn't hurt to just kind of reinforce it a little bit. Now, how do I want to do this? Let's see, last time I went like this. And where's the end? And it worked for a very long time. And I'll go like, let's see here. Oh, that didn't work. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. I need to go this way. No, oh, that's not what I want. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Here, let's go like this. There we go. There we go. That's what I meant to do. There. I just kind of give it a little more secure and pulling on my cord when I'm being ignorant and yanking it around on my desk by the cord. There we go. Okay. All right. Time to start my new painting, which was what 
triggered this whole damn thing because I was just about to start this. My light pad went out. So this is the one that I'm going to be doing next. And this is going to be for Brian for Christmas. So that'll be my next one. I'm hoping to get it done quickly because I really want to do a holiday one. I have that one that I won from, um, from, uh, um, Becky's giveaway that I want to do too. That's just a little one though. That one, you know, snack size. Probably do that out in the living room and this one in here. But, um, yeah, so I've got that. And I got it all kitted up yesterday while I was working. And just to change things up a little this time, I used my um, what is this? Elizabeth Ward container. So we're gonna we're gonna do it out of this one this time, rather than the uh, um, craftmates. Because I'm thinking I'm probably be working on this a lot in the living room, and this is very nice and portable. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. That's plenty. I mean, that took forever to fix that. But hey, save myself a little bit of money. So, if you like this video, what is wrong with you? And if not, why are you still watching? If you want to see more of this, hey, hit the subscribe button and that bell. And please, please. Leave a comment, but just don't be rude. Okay, bye guys. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Be thankful for what you have. Well, there you go. It works. And that only took the better part of her day. I'm no, just kidding. Maybe, well, well, she had to unload groceries too. Who knows how long that took, but took less time than ordering it online and waiting for it to arrive. Yeah, okay. Um, again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Get your turkey on. Okay. A lot of commotion here. Oh, and guess what? Jesse was in a car accident. Yeah, he was. She'll tell you about it in her next stick with me. He's okay. Don't worry. He's okay. But he's distracted by food. Blame it all on lunch. Your husband is calling. Stop what you're doing, calm down, and answer the phone. Your husband is calling. Stop what you're doing, calm down, and answer the phone.